Welcome to PyTest, a testing framework in Python. So, if you are already familiar with Java, there are some testing frameworks in Java like JUnit and TestNG. These are used to write automation test cases for Java. Similarly, for Python, there is a testing framework called PyTest that will really, really help you to write more organized tests when you are developing framework. It gives you a lot of features which will really help us to develop robust test cases in Python automation framework. So it's so much of important to learn this tool. So in this section we will fully concentrate on what is PyTest and learn what all this testing framework provides us. With this knowledge what we are going to learn from this section we will soon implement framework and then uh, utilize all these features okay so one thing i want to tell here i will not bring any selenium code in this section first let's try to understand what is this framework pytest and i'll try to explain all the features of pytest with just printing logs because if i bring it selenium in, into this immediately you will get confused in the next sections, we will build whole new framework from scratch. At that time, we will integrate PyTest, Selenium and all. So that's a caution that do remember. Right. PyTest. First, foremost thing, you have to install it in your machine. You know that when you install any other third party Python libraries, you, you just need to install through pip so that pytest will be configured in the python virtual environment and that will make us available when we write our test cases right so this is the command pip install pytest go to your command prompt if you are already set python home in your system variables then it should be easy you can directly give this pip command pip install pytest this will install pytest in your machine I already have it in my system so it gave me a um, log saying requirement already satisfied. In your case you might see some logs and ultimately you will see that PyTest is successfully installed. After you install I think you can see the version name with hyphen hyphen v. No. You need to pass complete version name. This will give you the version, at least to say that Python is successfully installed. So today is 5.2.1. Every month they will keep on releasing versions. Just don't worry about this number. By the time you watch, it could be 10 or 11. That doesn't matter. Okay. It's all about bug fixes if there are any in our existing version. All right, guys. So once you install Python, now let me open our PyCharm. And one thing you need to remember here, so you installed PyCharm to your Python, right? So we will now create a new test. So let me create a new package in this Python testing, new Python package. And let's dedicate this to PyTests demo. All right, so inside this Python package, now I will start writing our test cases so new python file okay now there is some conventions you need to follow if you are using if you want to write a new file in pytest testing standards the test file should always start with keyword called test underscore this is mandatory if you want to treat this as a pytest okay and then you can start writing the demo one which is our first file make sure you have test underscore i'll write in comments here don't worry any pytest file should start with test underscore keyword so that tomorrow when you want to run all test cases in your project you can simply run with pytest command and it will look for test underscore in the beginning of file name so that it will pick only those files right now in pytest 
if you want to write a test case in pytest fashion till now till last lecture in selenium test whatever we have written those are just a plain selenium test in python language that's it okay now we are trying to write something in pytest testing framework standards to follow that standards whatever code you write you have to write that code in function as per pytest standards okay so how to declare function you know it's def um test underscore you can say first program so this is the syntax of function in python so no matter what code you write you have to write every line of your code in function only if you want to follow pytest testing framework standards in defining anything okay now there is another rule here whenever you declare function you again need to follow some uh, standards here that pytest require test method name you can say it as a method or function but in pytest standards we generally call these are test methods this is one test method okay method name which should always start with test keyword okay this always should start with test so that pytest recognizes it pytest method names so these are the two rules you have to follow whenever you want to write something if it is a file then it should start with test underscore or it can end with test underscore something underscore test something like this so these are the conventions right so inside i would just print for now as hello that's it okay and expected two blank lines these are not errors as i said these are nothing to do with that perfect now to run this program there are different ways of running it you can use commands from your command prompt to run this test or you can depend upon test runner available in pycharm so you just cannot run like this run test demo 1 it runs but it will not treat it as a pytest if i run this you see that nothing is printed because this is not a python file now you have wrapped something here in pytest standards okay so now i will show how to get pytest test runner from this pycharm editor because there is already inbuilt plugin available edit configurations so this is a python what we have right click on plus icon and python tests so these are different frameworks available pytest select this and that's it so click on okay if you want to give what exactly test you want to run again edit configurations and you can pass that script path here so that it recognizes which script it's running in python testing we are in pytest demo and this is the file we want to run right click okay so that now we have selected which script to run apply perfect now you see that pytest test runner is now ready to run this test underscore demo one dot py okay now hit this run or you can say control shift f10 so this is the icon you can use to run and now you see there is something different you are seeing some testing standards like pass fail how many pass how many fail how many seconds it took and everything you can see in the screen here okay so this is what i am going to say you have some testing standards if you run your same test in pytest standards and the print hello that also got printed and you can see it here that test case is passed and 100% coverage is also there everything you can see if you run this in pytest test runner but again for pytest test runner to pick your test you have to follow this syntax like test underscore and method name should start with test and any code should be wrapped in method so that means going forward when we are developing 
real framework all the selenium test whatever you have should be wrapped in one method like this so that it recognizes and runs so that's the first way of running this in the next lecture i will show how to run this same test from command prompt there are some commands available to run without depending upon the test runner available in pycharm okay thank you